inside. Okay, if you carefully over there, you can see a rock that looks like a mushroom. Um, yeah, if, if you take a mushroom, it uh, will be uh, more clear. Uh, anyway, uh, the mushroom rock is also a, an example of erosion or weathering of the sandstone. There are two layers of sandstone, one above the other. The lower layer of sandstone is uh, uh, weathering uh, quicker than the upper uh, part of it, and this creates kind of a shape of a mushroom. And the, so this is a mushroom over there. Uh, it's lit in the, uh, during the night with pro projectors, which means that you can visit this site during the night also, uh, like the Salomon Pillars that we will uh, visit later on today, I hope so. <coughs> But actually, this is not the only point of interest over here. Um, okay, it's there's beautiful. There's a lot of background noise, and I really can't hear you. Again, what? There's a lot of background noise, and I cannot hear you. Okay, please, uh, uh, more silence, everyone. So uh, the mushroom is nice, but uh, this is not the most important part of the site. If you see that there's kind of three compounds of uh, f uh, with fences around them. Okay, the close one down here is kind of a factory, a place where they broke and crushed the uh, copper ore. Um, and then there's another one to the left, far to the left. This is a temple, okay, a temple of the people that uh, produce the copper. A, beautiful, a nice temple, very, very simple, by the way. Um, so this is the temple over there, and there's another fence, and in the fence there is a remnant of copper furnace. From which okay, era? Yes, melting furnace. From which era, the temple? Okay, the era, we'll speak about the temple later on. I'm speaking about, first of all, uh, over here I want to focus. Okay, the temple, the, 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 the left, the fence to the left. Okay, okay, we'll speak about the whole, whole uh, dating of, of the whole site later on because this is, there was a very big discussion about this specifically. Um, <coughs> so this will be in the next station. Over here I want to uh, focus on the copper production. So over there we were next to the mines. The question is why not to produ produce the copper next to the mines? <coughs> why to carry all of this copper ore all the way over here or next to the slave hill or on the slave hill that we'll visit later on or we'll see from a distance, okay? Why to go all of this long distance with your donkeys or camels or whatever and to bring the copper ore over here to produce it here? Um, and this is because uh, when we're speaking about the production of copper, we need to, to, to look at this whole valley like a big, big factory with different departments. The mines were over there, okay? Over here, there was a specific reason why they uh, um, uh, uh, produ produced here. Uh, but for, for production, first of all, you need timber, a lot of wood. Acacia wood you can find in the Evona and in the Yotvata uh, salt, salt, uh, salt marshes. Okay, so for each production of one kilo of copper, you need to, to bring 50 kilograms of wood. Wow. It's a lot. Okay, so they had to bring the wood over here. But this is not the only thing that you need in order to produ produce copper. You need also to have uh, rocks that contain manganese and iron oxide. Okay, and we saw some of these rocks over here. So. If you combine all of the materials together, you need to have a, to build a furnace, a furnace which means that it's, it, it's an oven that can reach a very, very high degree. In order to melt copper, you need to reach at least 1027 Celsius degrees. So it's a special furnace that you need to build also, um, um, you, you need to build also blowers. You can see the uh, restoration over here, blowers. Uh, to blow air into the uh, into the fire because even if you uh, uh, create in a very big fire you, it won't pass 700 de degrees unless you'll add oxygen to that okay so people needed to fire and use uh, 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 these blowers and you need to hold this fire for eight hours in this 1027 degrees so it was a very very hard work most probably they did it during the night, okay? Because in the night it's colder, so it's better to do a hot uh, work during the night. You uh, sweat less, you don't need to use a lot of water. Um, uh, so it was uh, more productive that way. So 50 kilograms of wood, five kilograms of copper ore, 
and 20 kilograms of manganese and iron oxide ores, which means... 5 kilograms again. Oh, again, the recipe. Those who want to do it at home, yes? Okay, yeah, exactly. Okay, 50 kilograms of timber, of wood, okay? They used uh, acacia tree, okay? Um, five kilograms of copper ore and 20 kilograms of manganese and iron oxide. Okay, because you need to use more manganese and, um, and the iron oxides and these rocks that we've seen on the way contains much more manganese and, and the iron oxides, it's better to bring a little bit copper ore over here than to move all of the manganese and uh, iron uh, oxide uh, ores over there. <laughs> and this is uh, because that they created this uh, 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 smelting uh, um, uh, uh, furnaces over here again. You remember from uh, before we spoke about the white uh, sandstone in the side, okay, to the sides of the valley. And we now are standing over here in the ancient area of the ancient colored sandstone in the middle of the valley. Okay, so always uh, the production sites will be closer to the middle of the valley. Okay, understood that until, until now? Mm -hmm. <coughs> and now how the oven, uh, how, how the stove works. Okay, so we have here an example of a furnace. Okay, these furnaces were disposable, which means that they used it once every time. <coughs> Afterwards, you had to break the, the furnace in order to take the copper out. You put the timber at the bottom, and then on it you yes, put yeah. the copper ore, and then on it you, you put the, uh, uh, the uh, manganese and the iron oxides, and um, then you lit the fire and blow uh, the air in for eight hours. Um, <coughs> why they needed the manganese and the uh, iron oxides? Uh, this this how uh, the, 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 the manganese and the iron oxide managed to absorb all of the minerals with, which are not copper and to create slag, okay? This is all of the waste of the, uh, of the um, process. And because of that, after eight hours, they were open, opening in a, a, a hole at the side of, a, a, of the furnace, and all of the slags will go down, and over here they, they took a, a real slag, Okay, I have another piece over here. What, sorry, what is slag? Like? Slag is yeah. all of the waste. Okay, you can, this, is other, main, metal, this is a man. This is a man. Show it. Show it. Man, 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 created rock. It's artificial rock. Okay, that contains sandstone, melted sandstone, and a lot of iron and manganese inside. Okay, if you take a, take a magnet, some of the slags will attach to your magnet. Okay, if you want to show it, uh, you have to. No, not all of them. So you have to find one with the, with a lot of it. Uh, but but over the, all of this valley is full with slag. slag. You can see it with just on the surface. It's just uh, wasted over here, and the uh, people are walking on it. It's not a uh, fence or something like that. Um, so, at, and eventually, after all of this process, at the bottom of the furnace, you produce one kilogram of copper. This hole. Okay. Afterwards, they'll take all of these loaves together and melt them again and create this kind of loaves or that this, uh, this is the two uh, two shapes that they found the uh, uh, copper that came from timna uh, they found them uh, under the sea sometimes it uh, fell down uh, from a ship and uh, some of them uh, in the middle of the negev uh, only few because it was very very rare to lose uh, yeah. this kind of material it was very very expensive um, and uh, again this is this is a production of the uh, copper this is a process okay any